Hello everyone, welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs, as right now, tonight's game, or in the doubleheader of the Stanley Cup Playoffs, we have the Avalanche and the Minnesota Wilds to rematch again. The Avalanche have made a great win on the start of a 1-0 series over the Minnesota Wilds. They were the first seed, but the second seed turned out to be the Avalanche behind the Wilds. They're not really impressed with that one because they were really like neck to neck each other. Sometimes the second seed wins, sometimes the first seed wins, and they move on to the next round. But it's not very clear if they are going to try to like keep it over in front of range and try to take them out. If they don't have the right encouragement, then they're going to have to like leave it all alone and try to boy a bail out one of the else's team that try to stake around longer and possible. So now at this point, it's time to send you down to XL Energy Center. Standing by, OJ, Paintbrush, and Selp and ball round pen at the center ice. I'll be back with the post game show. And I'll be here for the next commentating right now for this game. As right now the next matchup will be the Bolts and the Bruins here at TD Garden Arena. And I will be here along with my next commentary of the game with me phone and the center ice will be the next one to be determined as right now for the next uh, player in this contestant, Nickel. And finally on the other side, Test Tube ready for the next match of the Kraken and Kings, along with the other two that will be bringing us here for a next part of a game in between the zones of, of with each other. So that one, we'll see how this turns out once this game is over, and we'll find out tomorrow night's doubleheader of in between the two. And then NBA playoffs comes right in for the next one in game three. Now let's get started. See you later, folks, after free periods. Hello, folks. It's another matchup here at Minnesota. The Wilds and Avalanche meet again. Hello, everyone. Me phone is going to be happening here for the next part of the game. OJ, along with Paintbrush, at center ice, we have a cross ball round pin. Puck drop! About to begin now. Here's the starting groups of the Alliance for the Avalanche and the Wilds, Kirill Capriza, then it's Kill McCarr, then we have Mr. Chuskin right towards the right wing, then it's Spurgeon. On the other side, we have, we have across from here, it's another uh, player that goes inbounding, then we have a Zuccarello. Right from the offense, we have his McKenna. Right from here is Middleton, and finally, right from the right, we have his, we have his Hartman. The starting goaltender will be Alexander Georgiev. Now for Georgiev, he was able to do one of his only better of his tricks. I know he was able to do as well in this performance, but without Rangers, he might have a better team to be on advantage for. On the other side, we have his toes. And across from here, from the, uh, from the other player, we have, we have here is the Conan. And the starting goaltender for the Warriors we have is Gustafsson. Now Gustafsson, I wasn't able to uh, see what the wild save could be, but the only defenseman on the offense was putting up a wild of the same. He made that one a great timing. He really did the best, but at not at all point, they really are starting to feel like they would never did it before. Right now, here's Boldy, right towards the right wing. In the center, we have his Gerard. Gerard, right towards the right, and the left wing. Now pass to Comfer. Comfer shot! Gustafson saved me! We're holding at 17.30 to go in the first. Getting a little bit started here for the first period in game two. Erickson wins the face off. Now here's Boldy. Boldy right towards the right wing in the center. Takes a shot. Whoa! Georgiev got that one in time. Rebound! Save me. Stop again! Third time in a row for Georgiev! Georgiev was able to save it! Across from here he's wild! We are now moving into the, in the avalanche territory for the faceoff. Still scoreless in this game, no score yet. Foligno! Rebounded it, saved me by Georgiev. Mino has a puck here now into the offense zone. On the wild attack! Mino! Long it out of here. Molina recovering the puck here in the offense zone. Now over again to Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck right towards the, the left wing. Fires it across. 
That went out of reach. Boldy trying to hold up on Gerard, but it's Copper with the puck now into the offense zone. Fires across. Broden has the puck in recovery. Foligno over to Addison. Addison trying to look over to the offense side of the run. Gets fumbled up. Jared Guterro shot. Save! Rebound! Jared will hold it up from here. Jared will pass out another rebound in with the save. 15 20 to go. Both players are set ready to take the face off here in the, in the Avs territory. Still scoreless in the first period. Here's McCarr, wins the face off over to Colagno. Colagno right over to O'Connor. Colorado in the offense attack. Big stop by Gustafson. Gotta hold the puck here with under 15 minutes. It's still no score. Now they're ready to do another face off here in the attack. Still looking for a score for the first period. It's still scoreless again. Now here's McCarr, past the toes to shoot, and stop by Gustafson. Wow, Gustafson's got a very good quick on that one here. Well, you know why? Because they really are doing a lot much better than they were ever playing it for the last game. That means it's tough. Yep, definitely have no complaints about this one. They're trying to make it quick. Here's toes in the center, past the McCarr, and blocked away by Gudero. Gudero trying to look over again to Nyquist. Nyquist right towards the wing. Pass to Sungbest. Shot is stopped made by Georgia. Sungbest gives a pass again. Missed a target opportunity range, but Sungbest will try to reset it again. Now goes right over again. McCarr takes it over. In the offense, Roy. Trying to move it across right towards the right. Other shot. Rebound saved by Gustafson, and now Klimberg will take it over. Minnesota on the attack in the Colorado zone. Cogliano blocked away by Toes. Gruda still recovering the puck. Gerard never able to get there that far. Zuccarello stopped saved maybe by Georgiev. McCarr right over again in the center. Colorado on to the end of the into the Wilds territory. Pass again. Zuccarello takes a steal and now Hartman. Hartman passing right around the net. Trying to give another run to Johnson. Over again to Rodriguez. Rolling over right towards the bait back and behind is Maljan. Gets up nothing in front. Zuccarello is trying to like make a block out of a save out of it to try to pass him, pass it to go around it. I mean, they were really starting to go around the other way. Muldrin with the puck in the middle in a neutral faceoff zone to Johnson. Pass to Muldrin. Muldrin looking its way over. All right. Pass round a good stop by Gustafson. Hold the play and mount it with 11.13 to go. With the most part of it, a Brantonin's effort to make the, may take the tape feed. It's his one only of the game and the, and the consequences to get over right toward it. He looks for an open player to give a pass right towards the offender of the goal. Scores! Brantanen! His first goal of the playoffs continues! He now has to be a one nothing lead with a great pass by Comfort. Now Comfort was really doing as well of his own better. JT was putting a good pass right over to Alex, Alex Rantanen. And he's doing it very much to get the offense right towards the line. He's doing really well to keep his offense right towards the hustle. Ian Manning is keeping it alive and doing it again. It was very well to keep it right toward the offense to go right over it. Now with that play, he did give a pass over to Rantanen, and they really enjoyed it. I'll be watching on here right toward the player of this game to keep an eyes on it as much as they're going for. Back to you all. Gustafson saved me, and right now they will hold the puck here with 10 10 to go. Now both players are set, ready to take the face off in the offense wing. Now with Byram. Byram Middle! Gustafson saved! Nito! Stop again by Gustafson! He's gonna have to hold the puck right now because the guys on the offense are trying to like attack him. On this side of a gross call, McKinnon's was his ankle-breaking motion. 
He wants to get that one a high one of this advantage score. He wants to make that clear and that one go in offensive breaking zones. Fast players, they want to get from here. Kareem Kaprizov has only made it that one here for just the fast wheels to maintain it right towards the end of the offense zone. When he has more room to get over with the, uh, the player in the offense round, they will have to keep it right from here to go with the inbounding of the zone. These two are very aggressive. I'll be watching in between of uh, uh, the both players of McKinnon and Kaprizov. Back to you guys. Holy save made by Joe And over here to that. Backhand shot went too wide up in the glass. But no. Save me by Jogan. Now the Conan over again on the offense run to pick up Steve. 8.30 left to go in the first period. McKinnon blocked the shot by Middleton. Here on the other side we have Bogno. Pass the Boldy shot. Stopped by Jogan. Now swings to Bogno. Shot. Oh, good save me. And Guru can't find anybody else open. He really wasn't able to maintain it. Try to get him out of here with the block shot. They really got to keep stepping it up. Sabre comes up by Gustafson with 7.28 to go in the first period. We have hit the past the midway mark of this period. Colorado has a 1-0 lead over the Wilds to pick up the run. Now here's Gear stopping the run on Gustafson. Sunwest. Sunwest over to Broden. And Broden goes down. Nyquist still getting it in there. No offside call for Minnesota. Battling for the puck on the board. Sunwest shot. Stop big here by Jogian. 646 remaining in the first period. It's still 1 0 game. Eller wins the faceoff. Try to reach across to O'Connor. O'Connor still working his way on his offense run, but call it no. Save me! Call it no. Way towards the wing and over Eller. Broden takes the puck away. Now pass to Sunvest. Sunvest trying to look for open space room and McCarr takes it away. Eller with the puck on the offense zone. Trying to move it across in the middle. That goes right toward the wing, and O'Connor will take it away. Pass to Colando. Right to the chest. Good stop by Gustafson. Oh, uh, Gustafson got it in there. Score! That's his first goal in the playoffs. Colando now receives two playoff goals in the postseason. Colorado Rams have an extension with a 2 0 run over the Wilds with a disappointing first period. O'Connor with the assist. He really was able to go with the backhand with the stop. He did beat around the goaltender, got a little cling over him, and he didn't really well get paid attention out of it. If he doesn't get that well enough, he might have to just find another way to go right towards the offense to go right to the open man advantage to pick up their game. Cleaver to Hartman right towards the middle. Now racing over into the offense zone. No penalty call on Colorado. Shot goes wide from Kaprizov. Now Ranton ends covered up on the board. Puck leaves his own. Kaprizov trying to roll into the offense zone to go with another look. Addison right towards back into the offense zone. That's the hard man shot off the goaltender and it went up and in an inning. Officials are getting set. They're about to get the puck faced off and dropping in on the ice. Frozen's biscuit strong. Dr. Shaw right away. Toast. We'll still have to find some open man events. Holy run! Oh, that goaltender got him quickly. And now the battling with a loose puck. Now we cover Spurgeon. Spurgeon lost the puck out there. Goes wide with the shot. Five no. Pass broken up as McKinnon takes it over. Avalanche on the run. Mighty in the mountain. It's get clogged up by Middleton and and uh, and Hartman. Oh, man down. The corner number to Nutrishuske. Oh, hello. That is like the biggest one of it. I just did not know what was going to happen. 
Spurgeon right towards the back. Boldy going over again to Milton. Boldy right into the inside. Move around the middle. Smash save. McCarr, two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Muljin. Carrying in the corner is Muljin over Gerard. Gerard moves around. Gustafson, big save. Holding the puck and batting with just a minute and 37 to go in that first period. If you have tickets already, you should have it right now, and you have already made the purchase. Unfortunately, all the tickets right now are just coming down to the wire for the Sabian Media Center. So make sure you get tickets now, right towards the head. If you got your tickets, I hope you enjoy your show. And the event starts on June 25th and July 8th at L.A. and New York. Roderick Hughes with the puck. Down to a minute to go in the first period. New York battling along the puck and along the board. DeWar over again to Strong. Shaw racing in. 2-1! Goes bumbled up and Dumba. Back to Brody. Brody. Right around and he scores! There's your goal for the Wilds in the second game. 2-1 is where we set. That pass lasts longer. Brody was able to make that quick move right around the goaltender to go for the backhand. That's an easy play. But Brody has to say for him, he says, it's all what teams does. I really stay focused out there. Not my kind of guy. I'll be here all night. And it's blocked. That will end the first period of the run. Brody got a great shuffle move, like an ankle breaking. One way to another. We'll come back to the second period when we come back after the break. Stay tuned, and we will be right with you after this. We are on period number two in Minnesota. Buck drop, and we're underway at Excel Energy Center. With the recap in between for the first period, 2-1 is where we left off with the score. Now, it's easy to say because if everybody was complaining about that, they were really a hard team. But the Wilds say they want there to end their night because they were really unboundable to try to break them out with a chain. This reaction really has to come up with the players abounding. They really are starting to make the aggressiveness. If they don't have the right encouragement, then it's not going to be very that easy to try to like, save it inbounding with the puck. This ultimately has to be given out for one of the better players that has to be an aggressive bride. McKinnon wins the face up. Gets tackled down by a defender. Toasted and two scared save by Gustafson. 18.50 to go in the second period. A 2-1 score keeps on going. Now we're back in to do it again. Score is still 2-1 of Colorado. Now we have his McKinnon in the toes. Laconin! Missed the shot here from the backhand and now Cabrizo off over again to Middleton. Middleton trying to battle for the back place, freeze free. And Spurgeon gives it over again to Zuccarello. Now Zuccarello's in the way. Oh, is a shot! We ran it from our own man! Save here by Giogliev! The saving of this and rebounding is just very impressive. The most valuable teams are just getting a little bit exaggerated. They really are trying to get away with this because they don't have right men to go right back towards the playoffs position. Minnesota in the attack. Our man going over to Falinko. Good save rebound by Giogliev. Gerard Allen with a puck for loose. The Chirishkin has the puck save and the lane apparently on a holding. Not really enough to make the call out of it. They were really are starting to go badly. It's not very easy. Here's the corner shot. Rebound it and it's now a penalty on Minnesota for the hold. That will be Ryan Hartman in the penalty box. That's the first penalty they're not really expecting what the call is. This is not what we wanted to do. We don't want to hold the players at that point. It's going to give a hard time to give your nightmares on. Power play coming on for the Colorado Avalanche. 
Still a 2-1 lead in the second period. Here's a win for Minnesota, and Addison is right toward the corner of the wall. Firing the bow, Burden. Burden kicking it over again to try to get away with it. Newark, we got to recover. Stopping the run and the bounding. Guru. Rodney goes over the toes. Fires it. Rebound saved by Gustafson. Good look. Addison. Clears it out for the Avalanche in their, their, their territory. Gerard has it over again to Rodriguez. Pass to Newgook, in and in the Wilds territory run. To a wall breakaway chain. Gustafson will take the save here with second period. It is still a 2 1 game. Lots of time left to play in this period. The Colorado Avalanche is now a 2 1 lead over Minnesota. He will send it up in the air and send it on the outside. McCall right over again to Rodriguez. Here's Newgook with the player. Now finds McKinnon. McKinnon passes to Newgook. Wow, bounced down. Rebound. One time stop made by Gustafson. Nine glass fired across the air in the net. Around the net he goes. And McCarr will take it over. Ryan Hartman's ready to get out of this ice and do it again. McKinnon, Cobright, saved by Gustafson. Power plays over for the Colorado Avalanche. They're now back to even strength. Very good job in the defense. They really are starting to show them up like he did. And they are trying to put it right on a hustle inbounding to pull it right from a hand. We have a mid 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 midway work, midway work in this period. It's still 2-1. Nine points does the puck down in the neutral zone to their offense territory. Block the shot, goes chopped off to the legs. Nine points to Addison. Guru! Saved me by Gert Georgiev. Close! Oh! Hello! That is a big smash. The wild defenseman of the bear running into toes? That is like, my goodness. That wild of this run can be a lot that serious than you know. That rushing avalanche just may have just put up a snow to just try to stop the other bear. Toes right to Needle. Needle into the wild's territory. Pass to Copper. Needle! Hit the pad off again by Gustafson. Needle shot. Close save. Good catch. And now Addison has one. Holdy right towards in the offense zone. Now picking up the run. Giving it off to Harrison back to Foley Bill. Foley Bill. In a way, Foley! Shot saved by Jorgen. 12-14 to go in the second period. They're still getting a tie game right in this moment. But now they're waiting for another face-off. Get ready to do it again. Eller wins the fair draw. By Ram to call it now. Cogliano right over into the middle. Bad to save by Gustafson. Spurgeon recovers it now back to Erickson Eck. The Wilds are back into the offensive attack. Erickson Eck fired across and it's saved off by Jorgen. Reaching over this by Ram. Gerard to O'Connor. Back to Eller. Eller trying to make up a move. Cogliano Spurgeon takes it over. Zuccarello back to Erickson Eck. Now Middleton. Ryan's Caprizov. Caprizov right towards the middle. Zuccarello. Pot save. O'Connor right in the corner. Kicks the puck out. Eller with the, with the move around take. Gives it over again to Colagno. Pugliano. Get bubble up and swish around. And Middleton reaches it with now a rebounding puck. Now in the offense territory, Zuccarello. Caprizo! Shot goes deflected off right towards the skater. Caprizo! Not the goal post. McKinnon to Lakota. Now over again in the Chushka. Now goes to Hart. Hart still looking over in the offense to McKinnon. Save by Gustafson. He's going to hold the whistle and bounding with under 10 minutes in the second period. A 2-1 game still on the board.
Now they're inching closer to the mark of the end of the period. Two and one still sits here. McKinnon, Johnson, Bevel down, the code and save. Looks like Gustafson's is doing really well. Keep that one up there. And now we will do another face up on their side. Nine or six remaining right towards the offense zone. Here's Spurgeon. The military. Now here's again to the war. Up along the way. Reach a pass. And stopped by Johnson. Colorado on the one on two attack. Saving it again by Burden. Over to get the Shaw. Shaw looking over the offense run and trying to pick up the run. Reach it now. Rolls in front. Burden. Dennison. Shot the Shaw. Read up front. The war. Off the pad again by Junior. Looks like Junior is doing really well. Keep it going when you can. Another big textbook save by Junior. All right, on a fast break, block the pass out there, and Addison will give it over, and broken up the play. Copper right toward the wing. Lacone, stick lifted, no penalty call on Minnesota. Reese to Broden. Broden fires around the net. McCarr with it now. Whoa, bangled it from the corner of the wall. That might be a smash hitter that they were doing it. They're really offensive on this one. They've got to get that down. McCall right towards the center. Sunfest. Try to skip the pass. McCall again. Right around the man. Who scores? That's 29. And now gets back into the 3 and 1 lead game. McCall, what a play. He's got a good playmaking of this fruit to make a play through for Kel McCarr. And you know this was not always that easy to make that tri tricky setup. What is that good thing to tell him for Kel McCarr? Give him good sight edges. That's what everybody does because they were all really turning out to go with the offense this game. Kel McCarr has his first goal here in the in game two part of the playoffs. I'll be watching here for Kel McCarr if he makes another sharp edges to maintain the elite edges. Back to you. Now we're ready to do another face on attack. Still a 3 and 1 score here in the second period. 9 5 19 remaining. McCarr, pass broken up. Maldrin over across to Toes. Scoop up a board by Boldy. Spurgeon in the middle. Pass over to get an Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck still looking for an open man. Finding it over is Byron with the save. Toes over again. Now over across in again to offense zone to fling it out. Middleton. Going along again by Boldy. Middleton has it right across to Erickson at Minnesota on the attack. Oh no! Stop made by Georgia. Under four minutes left to go in the second period. Still looking for a game to get it close. Now they're ready to do an hour face-off attack. Still a 3-1 lead. As right now, under four minutes, comes in by. Erickson wins it. Spurgeon to Middleton. Fires across and pat save again. Holland no recovering the puck. Erickson keeps it over. And Jerron takes the puck away. Foul of an arrange. Rebound by Spurgeon. Erickson Eck right into the neutral zone, fast on break. With the speed line though, and stopped by Junior. That's really that hard on what the defenseman does. They're really saying that they got to get it over this. Then this amount of can really say that they're already been knocking out of here. They just really got to stay out of it. Harvard wins the faceoff. No penalty call on Colorado. Pat save. 2.44 left to go in the second period. Harbin 
time with an hour face off win. Oh, Jorgen still saves it again. Three times stop. Well, it didn't really help out because they were really are starting to say, oh, we need somebody else to go with the offense. We got to try to fix it in every way. Don't be losing it out at that point because now or never, they still have an advantage. Harvard three time winning a face off. Zuguro! Oh, Kaprizov didn't get it in time. And textbook saved by, by Jogan. Gerard recovers it now again to Cogno. Cogano right over into the wing. Zuccarello back to Hartman. 150 left remaining in the second period. Byron. Zuccarello trying to battle for the attack to release the puck free. Kaprizov lost it. Byron recovers that back to O'Connor. O'Connor right towards again on the defender. Addison back to Hartman. One ten remaining. Fires! Jurgen has stopped. Holding with a minute and two to go in a second. It's still 3 1. Nearing the end of the second period, Wilds are just trying to answer back, but Colorado Avalanche are getting a 2 0 series if they win this part of the game. They're still in. Bad off again by Jurgen. Kudera. Pass again over to Middleton. Fires across! Save me! Middleton right over again to Spurgeon. Spurgeon to Gudera. Fires Middleton. Gotta make a shot quicker. Gudera! That went wide off the mark. Battle for the loose bucket chain. Good go for it. Close call. Nine press. Copper stop. Where's it in? And in the offense zone. And that will do for the second period. What a nice play by McCarr with the Ely Edges. 3 or one is the Avalanche up by two. Be right back after this. Third period's next underway. Are you ready for the third period? It's about time now to finish it off. Well, we've been an amazing night here in Minnesota of the Wild Bay in the game. But now this ever turns out, we've really enjoyed what they did. All with that one being said, how do you feel about the part of the game that you've seen Colorado getting the goals? Well, that lot of goals that were really off to a great lead off chain. They really are starting to go over and under. But at that point, I thought there was something else to say that they were going to give up. A good crash to get out of here, but they decided that they wanted to keep it up with the close man in offense range to try to slow it down. Spurgeon shot. Rejected off again by Julian. McKinnon. On a loose puck. Toast recovers the puck. Oh, uh, Lakota could not recover it at that point. Now over Lakota. Lakota! Gustafsson! 18-18 remaining in the third, it's still 3-1. When they say when Gustafsson was really off to a great start, he wants that one to make the finish out of him. Yep, I, I definitely agree with that one for you. Here's another win off, and Spurgeon right over again to Middleton. Back to Kaprizov. Goes right to Hartman. Stopping him out is Zuccarello. Zuccarello scores! Zuccaro! Back down by one! When a man gets the offense right in it, he had that one sticking in. He didn't see where the puck was going. He now lost it and he never saw where it was going. So Zuccarello just made that goal release man to go right around it. They are down by one, but no over with the middle. There's the that shot wide. Colorado on the attack. Trying to go for Copper to get away. And Gustafson with the save. Both teams are set. Ready to take the face off into the offensive wing. It's the Wilds with the win in the face off. 
Spurgeon to Boldy. Boldy right over again to Middleton. Middleton trying to work his way around to Fallegno. Fallegno pass! One T stop by Julius. That's very aggressive on this attacker because they really are starting to get overwhelming. They really do not know what was going to happen now. They're now ready for another face-off as right now 16.40 to go in the third period. Here's a win now. And Minnesota! Oh, that's saved up again by Julia. Five narrow shot goes off the mark. Now back to the other side. Here's another range. Ranting in on the breakaway chain. Pass again to Guerrero. Gerard, Comfer! Stop by Gustafson! Gerard again to Comfer. Pass to today. Blocked away. Gustafson saves it. Hold the rebound in here. It's right now 15.45 to go in the third period. His most accomplishment for Matt Zuccarello, he was able to do one of his best plays in this game. After New York Rangers and Dallas Stars, he now is putting back in it, and he played for the Moto Hockey that happened in Swedish Elite League. He won the Gullahan as the Golden Helmet Award and was the most valuable player. Well, it exactly does happen now. The sweetest part of the game really does start out with the league. It best serves out. They're really are showing it what they can do. Matt Zuccarello was definitely the only player to play this as SHL. They keep up with the season and the competitions up here alive. They really are showing it a lot. And this was the only part of it, Sweden, that they really are sharing it off big and square. It's Guerrero. Back to Broden. Broden to Addison. Broden it! And Gustafson could not see what Julia was doing. Blocked up the way defender. Live quest. Barely call. There will be a slashing on Colorado and they have a chance to kick the power play to tie it up. There's Jack Johnson. That's a no-no to you. Now Wild's turn, ready to go for the power play. Looking for a score to get a game to tie it. Here's McCarr with the puck. Fling it up and across the net. Klingberg started across in the net neutral zone, the offense zone. Boldy now into the offensive avalanche run. Boldy passes to Corello, shot blocked. Exnet try to recover it again. Boldy right towards the right. To Spurgeon. Spurgeon. No penalty call. Klingberg. Rebound. Zero gets saved. That's really the best of inbounding. When this happens, they just really need to give that one a good run. They have to fix it right away. Now the next team coming in and for a new faceoff. With a minute and eight to go. Guterro wins the faceoff. Kaprizov! Rebound! Blocks out and Toes will fire it across. Just under a minute of play here in the power play for the Wilds. And now Kaprizov over to Hartman. Hartman still looking for another offense run. Rebound by Guterro to Foligna. Pass to Kaprizov! Armit still trying to get a rebound after a block shot. Fires again. Off the pad and right toward the wall. Falling down in the corner. Jack Johnson's ready to get back in the game. And delay penalty again. They're still not giving up already. As the Chish gets in the penalty box says, why is it me? Well, it looks like it's just Kushkin trying to give him a slash call. And then when Jack Johnson comes out, then the Chushin's going to be in the penalty box before the full strength. Now they will have a second power play coming up for the Minnesota Wilds. They're trying to answer it back. Four seconds for the five on three. The pre-shot. Goldie. Shot save. Now back to a power play for the Wilds to do it again. Take number two. Gustafson to Addison. Goldie right over again to Zuccarello. 
Zuccarello did not have the right choice to go with. Addison got a good reach, and Boldy back to Eric's net. Passes to Zuccarello. Move around the net, and that's a save me by Jogan. Zuccarello, backhander blocked away. Puck carries out in the wild territory. Addison passes to Boldy. Kaprizov in the day off on zone in the win. Around Boldy and shot went 2 1. Kaprizov again. And pass broke it up. Boldy. Fine shot. Stop again by the Colorado Avalanche defensive territory. They now send the puck down to their side of the field of the rink. Passes to Ertzinet. He's almost ready to get out back on ice. Byron flings it. Power play is over for the man advantage of the Wilds. It's still 3-2. Addison still looking for an open player to go with offense control. Conquer to Lacona. Lacona in, rebound, and went back behind it. Erickson X still looking for an offense run to pick up the way in the zone. McCarr with it now. Pass to Lacona. In the wild territory, Lakota blocked the shot. Stopped by Gustafson. Nine minutes remaining in the third period. Boldy would be his way over to Zuccarello. Zuccarello into the wing. Right around the main defender. Pass to Addison. Right to the Eric Chinek. Takes the shot. Close save by Jurgen. Jurgen was going to hold on to that one because that piece of it was going to be in very close range. Near an inch closer to the mark of the period, Colorado still have the one trail up by one. Kudera shot blocked by Ram over again to get to Yichushke. Yichushke to the opponent. Try to stop the run. Spurgeon. Pass to Sumbest. Sumbest over again. Try to stop the run. Ron reduces with the puck. Sumbest left to go in the third period. Fire around the net. Now Spurgey on again. Rodrigo Goose still has it across the bulging. The New York gloves it up in a chest, and Gustafson will hold it from here. 727 remaining in the third. Nathan McKenna is one of the biggest, one of the biggest players in the offense from the Colorado Avalanche. They are just noticing the selected overall picks here since after making the lead for the 2013 NHL entry draft. And McKinnon has already won. And Roderick Hughes scores. They're back up by two. Oh, this has been an upsetting of this major man run. All they say now, they don't have much time to do it. New York on the run. And 7-12 remaining in the third. They're trying to get away. Roderick Hughes has his first goal in the playoffs. Now over again, he does it. To Toads. Toes around it, and it's back over again to Middleton. Try to take the puck away, Maljin back over again to Newcomb. Stop the run. Spurgeon will take it to Nyquist. Nyquist right to the corner of the angle. Stop by Jorgen. Middleton, Nyquist, over back to Spurgeon. To Middleton, fires, went wide off the range. Spurgeon to Nyquist. Back again, New York, rebound, stop again by Jorgen. They're all over the place right now because Avalanche are trying to block the shot. They wind to get in themselves somebody's way. That's what everyone is doing. They have to get out. Shaw towards the middle. Fires around the net. Off to Johnson. In the attacking zone. Fires it up off the mask and save. Green comes up and goes to sin. Shaw delivers. But Johnson takes the puck away. They know right towards the way. Pass to Copper. It's blocked up. Slot save. Copper! Save me by Gustafson. Minnesota on the attack. Reeves over again in the way. Look for a chance in the middle. Shaw right around. Two-yard save. 
Holding the play with 4 1 the remaining in the third period. They can burn our way to get in the game. Now here's the call for Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon is only the ankle breaking of the score. He's most of the time as often. When he has that right choice, he wants to make that one easier and ever. Most plays of this one can be a little bit tough ranging in bounding. But as we're all being said, it does turn out one by one. It will be tough though that McKinnon gets an ankle breaking and will get it off again. Gustafson save me. There's a pass to DeWar over to Reeves. Reeves trying to work his way inside. And back to Anderson. Reeves! Flinked out right across the wall. Shaw. Caprizov. Too close to the goaltender and now it's Hunt. Over to McKinnon. McKinnon in towards the offense zone to pick up the run. Trying to stop him mounting. McKinnon. Brings it in! Then stopped by Gustafson. 225 left remaining. Navy McKenna is one of the assistant captains that we were able to play with this game. McKenna has already won a Stanley Cup with the Avalanche since last season in the postseason in the finals, but it was not always the biggest chance that everyone was getting. That was hard, but they know it. Yeah, definitely not tough enough because they were really showing it off, and you know, this only has to be one on occasion of me. More than just the only a player at disadvantage, though, you know? Everyone else out there, they've done it great. Broden with the puck, 2-10 to go in the third. Toast takes it over with the puck steal. Nito right into the center of the neutral face also. Poked it out. Addison will try to recover it. Gives the pass to Broden over to Zuccarello. Zuccarello on the attack. Pass to Harvey. Blocked the shot. It goes right back to Caprizo. Shot! Save made by Giogian. And right now, Copper in the other end in the Wilds territory, down to a minute to play in the third. They're losing a lot of possession because they really are doing a lot of street. Zuccarello right to Caprizo. The man in advance. The goal of tender is empty. McCarr over in the other end in the juice game. Try to block it! Way off the mark! Kaprizov! Pass again! Now that with Ibaldi! In his own! Here's Harman! Shot! Stop by Tugin! By Rand to the Conan! The Conan's gonna race towards the outside and now the Chuskin's gonna deliver it in! Here you have it! That's what they all call for, Avalanche! Win all! That one better play of this drive has really turned to be the Chushkin. They were saying that they really are doing the best. And right now, David McKinnon has its national team. He played with the Canada, and that was the part of it that was able to go with the player statistic run to go right towards his regional of his school game. Now, that wasn't the only way that he was in the ice hockey program. But at this moment, that was the part of his hometown that was attended here right in the boarding school. But now, in Colorado, he wants to give it off to a good run. Now, you're at set. The third period's over, and your final score is 5 and 2. Colorado extends the series 2 and 0. Oh. Game 2 of their run turned to be a nightmare, but it might be Colorado heading back home in Ball Arena. Well, as you could say now, Jurgen has been the best goaltender. It's definitely what everybody does in order to be achievable. With that being said, OJ along with Paintbrush and Ball Round Pen, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining us here and have a good night in Minnesota. Alright guys, thank you so much. Right now, a disappointing run in game number two. There's a lot of hit and runs because there's a lot much handling to try to keep the offense out of here. Five and two is your final score. Time for your three star players of the game, starting off with number three. The third star goes over to Kale McCarr with a goal and three hits. That star bench is turned to be a right around the goaltender and right in it. The second star goes out to only one bird to the notice, Philip Gustafson. 54 saves this game and try to pull an inbounding without getting this goal back into the position. And your first star goes to Alexander Georgiev with 60 saves. He's the best one in player in the 
goaltender for the Colorado Avalanche. And now here's how they did with the total statistic runs. 59 total shots on goal for Colorado and 62 for Minnesota. 16 and 14 for Minnesota and Colorado. 750 and 552 for Colorado and Minnesota. 89 percentage and 92 percentage for Minnesota. 24 face-off wins and 27 face-off wins for Colorado. Four-minute penalty box for Colorado and two for Minnesota. No power play goals and power play minutes was their team to give off their run. And that should be it. Thank you for watching and I hope everybody's appreciating your hockey day and the Stanley Cup playoffs on TV. This is Soda Beast. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. That's all right now. Thank you for everyone who's tuning in. I'll see you again next time. And gone. Good night, Minnesota. And tomorrow night, for our number doubleheader of the game. It will be happening now, like you never see it going, the Bolts and Bruins at TD Garden. And finally, the other hand of it, Kraken and the other team, I should call for it. What is that? You can get kicks. Kicks. All right. All right, I guess that's it. Peace out, folks. Till next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.